Hey guys, it's Eddie back with another review. This time, uh, with Mezco's The Wolfman, um, seven-inch version. I was gonna save this one to review last out of my big bad Toy Store haul. I was gonna do the Dark Knight ones first, but I thought, you know, forget it. I'm really excited about this one, and it's my favorite that I got. And honestly, I can say, could could be one of my favorite figures that I own now. I figured, why not? I got, I just gotta review this guy. I'm so excited and so stoked to have him. Really dope figure. Um, I can't believe I just used the word dope. Um, you know, I usually leave that up to the other guys in the community, but you know, I'll start using it. Whatever. Um, really cool figure. It's really stoked to have him. And um, yeah, just oh my gosh, I'm blown. Really, truly blown. Can say I'm blown away by this figure. Um, very cool. So let's take a look at the packaging before we get onto the figure. Let's set him to the side. Um, as you all know, I'm a huge, huge Wolfman fan. Big werewolf fan, but most of all, the Wolfman. This is the Wolfman on the top, says Wolfman on the bottom, because, you know, that's the character they're making. Hopefully, they make some other characters in this line, because I'll definitely, definitely get it. Um, I'm not going to say who I want, for those who didn't see it, but hint, hint, Anthony Hopkins, hint, hint. Um... But yeah, very cool. It has a picture of the full moon on the back, full moon back there. Really nice backdrop, honestly. It looks really cool. Especially with the figure placed in there, which I have the bubble in there, but you know. Why do you need the bubble in the package? The Wolfman on the back has a picture of a 12 inch version. Um, looks very cool. It has real cloth on there. And it's blood splattered, and then uh, a 7th, 7 inch one. Which there's a variant of this with blood. I wanted the blood one, but you can't, you do not have a choice. But this one's just equally as cool. But, uh, so, yeah, there's the package. You know, just, it, it's a package. Ooh. Let's get on to the meat of the review, which is the figure. Um, oh my gosh. The detail on this is beyond any de- Well, almost beyond any detail I've seen in a lot of figures. And, I, you know, I have over 160, so that's saying a lot. Um, well, first let's take out, let's take out his one accessory. Which is his walking cane. This is Larry's walking cane. Um, that was used in the original and in the new movie. Which they look the exact same in both. Um, even the detail on this is really good. You know, usually on little accessories with figures, there's little paint splotches. There's nothing but a little silver dot right there. Barely noticeable. All the rest of the painting is really good. They have even washes on this. There's a, you know, there's a black and brown wash on here. And the silver, there, you can definitely tell they mixed black and silver. Because, you know, in the interior of the notches and stuff, and it's black with silver on top. Very nice. Um, I guess it can fit in his hand, you know. it's it's It doesn't lock in, but if you, like, you can set it in there. But something very cool is on the back on the vest, which is very rubbery. Um, there's two holes right here, which is meant for detail, but I like to stick it through there. But, let's go on to the detail. Um, like I said, detail on this, amazing. What I like about the design, uh, it's, it's very close to the design. So let me stand him up. Okay, there. Very close to the design they did in the movie, which I like the design in the movie because it's very close to the 1944 version of the wolf, just updated. But I mean, oh my gosh, I, I I could go on for hours about the detail on this, but just you know, it speaks for itself. Look at the face on there. Very nice. Look exactly like how he did in the movie. No paint mess ups at all anywhere. Um, just absolutely awesome. Um, oh my gosh, you know, like I said, there's black and brown in in there, mixes, tan shirt. Um, this vest over it, you could remove if you wanted to, I don't know why. I kind of like to actually make it hang, you know, makes it look more like he's in battle or, you know, whatever. But, uh, it's very rubbery, and all throughout the figure, there's little tears in it with fur coming out. On the, on the legs, which I really like the legs. The paint on those is really nice, but uh, you can see the hair coming out all over the place, like right there, right here. There's all kinds of places where hair is popping out of the pants and the shirt and the vest and all kinds of stuff, holes all over it. Very, like I said, I could go on all day about the, fig uh, the figure and definitely the detail of it. Um, even the claws, I really like how they made the claws look. Something about them, this looks really good. He has like Really nice feet. I don't know. Something about the feet. That's like one of my favorite parts about this figure. Just the feet. Really cool. Anyways. 
Um, let's go on to articulation, which, you know, Mezco, NECA, those kinds of collectible figures aren't necessarily known for the articulation. Um, and wow, my camera was just all uh, cocky, sorry. Um, but anyways, they're not necessarily known for the articulation, but as those standards go, this has very good articulation. Um, ball joint on the head, very nice ball joint. Up, down, a lot, uh, rotate, could rotate 360 degrees, but gets hindered by the collar. Which, uh, this is, I forgot to mention, very hard plastic, extremely heavy. Um, you know, put five regular figures together, and this might be the weight of this. Um, but yeah, articulation head, waist, it's, it's cool. Um, on the waist here, it's on a ball joint, actually, so it can rotate around, but also kind of see, go up and down. That's really cool, I like that, but it's all at the bottom here. Um, but it gets hindered because of the shirt coming off right here, but you can get them in a nice turning pose. Um, the arms have really good articulation. They go in and out, rotate 360 degrees, uh, rotate at the um, elbow no bend. Unfortunately, I really wish they would have done that, but not a big deal. And it rotates at the wrist. Um, same for both hands. This one's more of like an opened hand. This one's, you know, kind of curved, I think, so you can... You can set the cane in there. But a legs. Legs don't have a lot of articulation, which I don't mind at all. I don't really mind that this doesn't have a lot of articulation. Lately, I've been really just getting in more of the detail of the figures. But, um, rotates at the leg here. This rotates around and rotates at the foot here. The well, top part of the, um, calf. So, really good articulation. Uh, well, not really good articulation, but pretty good articulation on him. Especially for a NECA. Um, so, definitely a very nice figure. Let's do a quick size comparison, because this is the kind of figure that needs a size comparison. It says 7 inch, but I think it's bigger. It looks a lot bigger, because see, here's a, a Dark Knight Movie Masters figure. Not the one that I got, just one I had out, and it looks more like 8 inches, honestly. Um, but I'm kind of running out of time, a little, kind of, but, uh, let's wrap this up. Overall, the Wolfman. Very, 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 very awesome figure. Couldn't recommend him enough. Just definitely, you need to get him. I don't. If you saw the movie, get him. I don't care. You know, if you're a big Wolf Man fan or not, you need to get this figure. Definitely cool. Um, give him a very solid, high, high rating. Definitely recommend him. Go out and get him. I think they have him at Toys R Us. Other than that, get him on Big Bad Toy Store where I got him. BBTS. Uh, they have for our Big Bad Toy needs. Go there. Um, links on the side. Definitely go there. They have really good prices on this. It's uh, six, no, fifteen ninety nine for this, which is a great price, and a thirty two ninety nine for the twelve inch. So definitely go check them out. Stay tuned for more reviews. And this is Eddie signing out.